In this lecture, I will talk about the comparison of chip on chip versus chip sick. First of all, I want to thank Bori Mifsud for sharing this material with me. Comparing chip on chip and chip sick, chip on chip is chromatin immunoprecipitation on a chip, meaning on a microarray, whereas chip sick is chromatin immunoprecipitation followed by sequencing. With regards to coverage, microarray, chip on chip, were limited by the array, by the size of the genome of the array, by the presence of repeat in the genome, by the number of probes on the array, whereas a chip seek is able to monitor the whole genome. With regards to resolution, chip seek is in theory able to go down to the single base pair resolution, whereas chip ship was against was once again limited by the probes on the array and at the resolution which was 30 to 150 times bigger than that of ChIP-seq. With regard to noise, both methodologies have limitation. Chip chip was affected by different noises, one of which is cross hybridization, where for example probes would interact with each other, giving a signal, or DNA sequenced would hybridize with multiple probes on the array, or it could also be that there was a specific hybridization of DNA to random probes. With regard to ChIP-seq, chip might be affected by sequencing bias, where some sequences get preferentially sequenced over others, and is also affected by the sequencing error of the machine. With regard to dynamic range, chip ship was limited to about 100 fold, whereas chip seek on an average experiment has already a uh, hundred times more dynamic range than chip chip ever had. In fine, the limitation of chip seek is actually limitless, as the more we sequence, the more dynamic range we will get. With regard to the amount of material that was required for chip chip, or that is still required for chip seek, the amounts are by far much larger than that required for chip seek, over 2 micrograms for chip chip, whereas nowadays chip seek requires even less than 10 nanograms per sample. And with regard to cost, nowadays both are on par. When it comes to taking a closer look at the resolution and the noise, you can clearly see from the pink box that the resolution of a chip seek is much better than that of a chip chip. And this is important as you can see that in that region where we previously had a single peak in chip chip, we now have three different peaks that closely map the promoter regions of two genes. E, e, FL delta and CG5694. When it comes to noise, as is seen in this blue box, there is clearly less noise in chip seek than in chip chip. And this might be relevant as if you look at the two peaks in chip seek, they seem to be clo more closely located to the gene PROF S35 bar rather than the gene NPC1, which is not something you might have been able to identify just using chip chip data. Further comparing chip chip and chip seek, when we look at yeast array, microarray, gene expression profiling, and RNA seq data, so gene expression profiling performed using RNA sequencing, we know that there is a poor correlation for lowly expressed genes and highly expressed genes. This can be explained by the limited dynamic range of a chip chip or a chips um, sorry, of a gene expression array, where basically these high values would have saturated on an array, whereas there is no such saturation and no limit in dynamic range from RNA data. And also the chip would have been limited 
because of a very high signal to noise ratio for low expressed values. The same holds for chipsic, and there is a good correlation for medium expression. And when comparing chip chip with chip seek in terms of dynamic range, what we can see in this middle panel is that in gray you have a chip chip signal that goes from maybe two, so we couldn't measure anything lower to about ten. We have a limit in the dynamic range, which is obvious. Looking at four different lanes of sequencing, in that particular experiment, we can see that sequencing half a million reads is enough to give the same information as was obtained by the chip chip. Then, in that experiment, sequencing 2.7 million or more give us about the same results. This basically tells us that clearly chip seek has an advantage over chip chip. <laughs>